you know, think about 50-50. They're 50%. I go. And uh, I go. And uh, I'm thinking that people are hearing me well. I hope so. Is my connection clear? Can people hear my audio well? I can hear you, but it's going in and out at sometimes. Yes. From time to time, it goes out. Uh, hi everybody. Yeah, I think I think his audio cut out again. Um, but if anybody has any questions and you want to unmute yourself, or if you want to type a question, I can try and answer. Uh, I'm just kind of I'm playing fill in until uh, he comes back on. But uh, I mean, I I think all has really been said. Uh, these two resources, the Sankofa journey and Repatriate to Ghana, are really to help me well? those from the diaspora get the resources they they need I to um, to make a successful transition. No, not a Kwame. We can hear you. We can hear you. And and I was just I saying, I, I think uh, yes, we can hear you. I was just asking if people had questions. I will, um, I will. And, and I did want to point I said, out that, I will, you say, uh, the one-on-one -on -one consultations. For today. Okay. Okay, I'm not hearing the talking. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I did want to point out that a lot of people are asking like sp really specific questions about, about themselves. And on Repatriate to Ghana, uh, there is a section where you can fill in a form um, that that gives the kind of information about your preferences in enough of a way that you can, um, when you do your one-on-one -on -one consultation, uh, it gives them an idea of what recommendations to make for you. And that's the better place to ask some of these questions because usually the question you think to ask is kind of the tip of a much deeper uh, explanation that you need. So um, I, I definitely recommend that. I think that consultation is one ninety nine, and it is it, it allows you to say what your personal preferences are in terms of lifestyle, uh, in terms of your social life, your work life, um, uh, all of these different kinds of things. And then from there, uh, you get recommendations like, okay, well, since you said you like this, uh, here's our recommendation. Or uh, since you have this background, this may be a good resource for you. Um, so it's not a cookie cutter kind of thing. It, it's really designed to uh, answer uh, some of those some of those uh, very specific <laughs> personal questions. So to the point that someone asked about the land, um, and he said, "Well, it really depends on where you were." Uh, or where you plan to be, uh, that you know, a lot of things in Ghana will, will, uh, a lot of the answers to your questions uh, should come in that form 
where it may not be, let me ask all these things and this will tell me what I need to know. It really would be, let me tell about myself and then you, and then getting the insight is to, you know, what's next. So um, under, uh, under on Repatriate to Ghana, uh, under services, I think it is, um, there's the, the link, uh, I don't, I actually, I don't see it. So I'm gonna check um, and paste the link, but you definitely wanna do uh, the, oh, it's recommendations, I think. Yeah, uh, click on recommendations so that you can do the um, moving readiness questionnaire and, and, and see what, you know, what best fits your lifestyle. Um, and then I also see, uh, the chief posted uh, his link. Is it gullah.org? So uh, definitely take, yeah, <laughs> Tyrone posted 199 is definitely worth it. So uh, imagine the guy who didn't want to spend $199. And then spent six thousand accidentally uh, <laughs> on something he didn't need. Uh, so definitely take these links down so that um, you know you can build community, um, but then you can also um, see who in your your circle may be able to join you. Um, but yeah, does anybody else have any questions or um, can I ask uh, Chief if you have anything that you want to add? Greetings, greetings. Can you hear me? Yes, you can. Okay, sorry. Um, yes, really we can much, hear you now. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't really have much, but definitely was digging the conversation you just had with about the repatriate to Ghana. I'm going to be um, definitely researching more about it and assisting with the promotion of the services as well. Um, so people know where to go, where they can get, you know, get the services that they deserve. Um, it's so important. I just want to emphasize that to those who are out there who haven't repatriated yet. Some are repatriating with their children. Some are coming home with their parents. You know, um, when I came here, for me, you know, it was like a, uh, you know, I came to stay, I didn't come to play kind of situation and it, it had been my dream for my family to you know come through too just a few months ago i was able to spend a month with my sister and my first cousin in africa and we was just tripping the whole time like man you know who would have ever thought that we would be here and um it's amazing what's happening because it's families in motion like for us, we know that's when it's real. When you got families moving, you know, um, uh, the brother was saying earlier about, you know, when, you know, his parents come, he built his house so his parents can come over there. You know, um, that's real, that's real. You know, even if you come, come as a, as a trailblazer, you know, make sure that you, are well protected and defended on the ground. Um, you know, it's good, bads, and uglies out here. Just like wherever you are right now, you gotta keep your guard up and be smart. Um, definitely, definitely appreciated this opportunity. And just wanted to thank um, Baba again for the invitation and also the excellent information on the repatriate to Ghana. I, I wasn't even aware of all that, but I'm gonna be checking it out more and reaching out. There's often people who reach out about Ghana, and um, I like to I like to connect people. So, 
Absolutely. And and brother, do you have a do you have a it, videos on a bb to me TV? Because someone was asking about a YouTube channel. I know Nana Kwame made a um, exodus from uh, white social media, and he got rid of his YouTube channel. Um, but I do know there are videos on a bb to me TV. So I wanted to make sure that resource was shared. If you have a channel. Okay, thank you. No, I, I, I don't have a channel on bb to me TV. Um, the YouTube channel is not like a personal thing. It's more of an organizational thing. I don't have a personal channel. But, um, yeah, I mean, if we can get on a bb to me TV, let's go. You like that, sir? We definitely like to welcome you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. You had to actually switch. I'm uh, I'm on uh, my laptop, but then also I, I logged on to the phone, which is actually an African-made phone called Mara for people who are interested. We also making phones here on the continent. Um, as as we were going through, what I wanted to do is just share some of those resources that I think Natasha was talking about. So if you will indulge me, and I think you know we've, we've been going for a while, and I think it's been very beneficial. There are just a couple of points that I hadn't got a chance to make yet uh, that I didn't want to go to. But this one is repatriategana.com. Can people see this? Yes, okay. Yeah, I see it. So this is Nataki who's been speaking here on the uh, far left. And this is when we got our Ghanaian citizenship. So both of my parents got their Ghanaian citizenship. My wife got her. Nataki, that's my older sister, she got her. And my children also gotten their citizenship. So one of the things with we say to Ghana is, of course, citizenship. We also do housing. Nataki mentioned the sister who was able to get out of the loop. We were able to get out of the lease in terms of the housing. There's also, you know, land that we deal with. And then also connecting people with the community on the ground. So where we are right now, we're actually on the cusp of our, our collective land acquisition for 22 acres for one and then another four acres for another. Um, in terms of, you know, those who are interested in investing, you know, whether it's money, time, in our case, you know, we've gone to, you know, schools in the hood, hood and taught them capoeira, right? Like every year we do this with uh, Kale Wate. We had an extended one over several months where, you know, three times a week we're going to teach the children so they can get skills. So here we see there's a video here on the home page that I would encourage people to check out. It's myself and Dr. Maulana um, from, Re from Ministry of the Future going into, and this is another collaboration right here, going into how we were able to get citizenship for the 34, and this in 2016, and then for the 126. And again, all of that came through the Institute of African Studies, right? And it's not just about me. Now, for Dr. Maulana, he could have just said, well, he already got his citizenship later for everybody else. I also could have been like, well, I got my citizenship later for everybody else. But what we're doing is that we are defending your self-determination so that you too can get citizenship, so that you too can get land, so that you too can, you know, it's not enough for us to browbeat people and say you need to divest from, you know, Crackerville or United Snakes or any of those places. We also need to open those paths so that you can do that as well. So even as we were sitting here, I saw somebody was uh, able to sign up for a consultation. And you can do that if you're interested through this. You see where it says take questionnaire. The questionnaire, this isn't like stop responses where we just give you, all right, when you come fly into the airport. No. Nah. What we do is we tailor everything to what your specific needs are. So the needs of somebody who is looking to, uh, you know, go back to school is going to be different from the needs of somebody who, let's say, is retired, which may be different from someone who is younger and wants to put in work on the ground, right? So the questionnaire is to set you up for that, and then you do a consultation. And here you see everything is about testimonials. So lots of people are out there saying, all right, we're going to help you in creation. But there's really no type of track record where you can see what they've done. So here we have actual testimony with somebody. Could we help somebody? The people themselves say, I want to do a testimony for you, Patriot to Ghana. We'll have someone do a consultation. 
and say, well, what you gave me in this one hour, 30 minute consultation is worth more than you charged me. And literally they give us another hundred dollars on top of that. So this is the work that's on the ground. And these are real life people who are members of a bb to me some of them. Others, you know, are in the community. So these are real life people. A sister, we help, you know, get a car situation together. Just various things. So you can do the questionnaire, smooth transition plan. And I don't want to, you know, go through everything on the website, but just some of the things we deal with fraud protection from the and housing scam, housing location, to get you away from price gouging, stripping and receiving, learning the language. Now, this is one thing that not everyone can do, but I teach the, the, the language of Chi to Ghanaians at the Premier University at the, at, uh, of Ghana, the University of Ghana. So it's not, you know, this isn't just, all right, let's, let's try to get in and, oh, people are making, you know, we, no, this is a lifelong endeavor. So from 1998 up to now, here you have somebody who's been learning the language to the point that now he's teaching the language to Ghanaians. So this isn't a thing of, oh, well, now people are getting on repatriation, let's hop on board. This is an entire lifestyle. And what people see is they see the work that's been put in, and they're interested in also continuing in that same type of vein. So there are more things that are here. What I would encourage people to do is go to the site, check out the site, check out the packages. And when you see the packages, the packages are to make sure that you get your land. The packages are to make sure that you get your items and your shipping and so forth and so on. And again, we don't want people to be penny smart and pound foolish, where they're like, well, I want to pay on a package, but then they end up paying thousands and thousands because they got gouged. Now, it's not everybody who comes to Ghana who has a horror story, but it's like how my own father, Baba Kamal said, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So if you just do the consultation, it's better to have that consultation and you know find out what you need on the ground rather than, oh, I need that consultation, but you never did it. Right? And what Natasha- Can I add a, a point here, not a comment? Go ahead. Go ahead, Natasha. Uh, I wanted to add the comment that um, uh, I, I was the consulting advisor on this uh, Repatriate to Ghana uh, <clears throat> program and website. And I had recommended that the consultation that he's talking about um, be somewhere between uh, 199, the, I mean, excuse me, be somewhere between $500 and $1,000. And Nana Kwame pushed back hard and, and won <laughs> and said, um, even though it is worth that in value, I want to make sure that people get the information and and put the price point at 199. And uh, I wish that that <laughs> was was even on the site because the fact that he is doing this to make it accessible to people, I, I think in and of itself has value. Um, and um, you know, those who have done it have have you know really really come back with uh, how overwhelmingly positive they they have um, how overwhelmingly positive that experience has been for them. And I'll go back on mute. Black Lily. So again, the link has been posted for those who are interested in repatriate to Ghana. Um, and then also, this was mentioned to you, Chief Frode, we want to get you here. And I see Brother Shakara, he's here on the homepage, future, he's live and in the building right now, I'm seeing you there uh, on mute and uh, with the camera off. But uh, here's one of our major posters here, you know, on a BB to me. And then you see others, this is a brother here, and he's saying he would like to thank a BB to me concert for their intensive introductory conversation and tea course. So this brother's doing amazing originally out of uh, Jamaica, but grew up in the South. And his team is leaps and like light years beyond where people who have been here for sometimes 20 years and can barely even Greek. That this brother, every single time we converse, he's saying something that, you know, he's been working with somebody, you know, asking somebody on the street, practicing what he learned in the class. So he just got his uh, BB2Me certificate. 
So once you learn the language, we send the certificate to you. So now you can even take that certificate to the community. So the same way with an, uh, African ancestry, you can take that to Sierra Leone and that have value. You can also take your bb 2 me certificate by Okunini, a.k.a. Dr. Obadale Kamban, Senior Research Fellow at the University of Ghana, Head of Section of the Language, Literature, and Drama Section. You can now take this certificate and all the weight that it has to the community and not just show them a piece of paper, but you can actually speak to the people in the language. Now, the doors that that will open up to you is, is, is a different world when you speak the language versus when you don't. So uh, Chief Fode, this is where we want you to be. All of your uh, videos on YouTube, you can click import and just in the click of a button, you can bring those videos onto our own platform. Now, when we talk about repatriation, we're talking about repatriation and everything. This means physical repatriation, but then also linguistic repatriation. This means that we don't want to speak any crack of languages. We want to speak the languages of our ancestors. When we're talking about repatriation, you know, when those who are coming on the Sankofa journey, this is another aspect of the repatriation is instead of going to Greece and London and I don't know where people are going, you can actually come here to Ghana and I'm going to share the link with you on that as well. And as mentioned, here we are, uh, Ghana, Senegal, and Gambia. We're kind of in a holding pattern because of the corona situation, but this is what we were set to do um, when corona struck. And as you see, these are the people who are part of our community when they're coming here to uh, Ghana on the Sankofa journey. It's a life-changing experience. And I say that not just because I'm one of the coordinators, but you see where I live now. You see where I live now. Hold on one second. And the reason why I live in Ghana is solely because of the truth of our journey and the experience that that had, you know, the, the impact that it had in terms of my life experience. So I want y'all to check this out. Now, a BB2 is not just a website, it's an ecosystem and it is our institution. So when we have an institution, you know, YouTube is an institution. It's an institution that belongs to the white nation. But what we're doing, but what we're doing in terms of that is that we are divesting from the white nation and divesting from these white institutions. So this is what I want people to also be doing is repatriating linguistically, repatriating physically, repatriating digitally off of the crack of platforms and then onto our own platforms, repatriating spiritually away from praying to an imaginary white boy on the stick, away from praying to a rock in the desert to now, you know, honoring the wounds of our own ancestors. So if I talk passionately, it's because I'm very passionate about what I'm dealing with. So I don't want anyone to feel offended, but, but I'm talking very frankly, and I'm also speaking from my heart. When I'm about repatriation, it's not just physical repatriation, it's repatriation in every single aspect. So when we have repatriate to Ghana.com, this is for the physical repatriation. We have a bb2me.com and a bb2me.tv.com is the digital repatriation. When we have a bb2me.com as well, that's the linguistic repatriation. So those who are interested, you can follow up with us. Info at bb2me.com, the same site where you're on right now. Info, I-N-F-O, information. And I'm going to pass it back to Chief Fode. Um, I want to respect everyone's time. I know we have a little bit of tech difficulties for a minute. But anything that you want to share that you may not have gotten a chance to share, uh, to share Chief Fode. And then also, everyone, yeah, I want you to know this will not be the last time that we're collaborating on something. So whether it's building a building, whether it's building a school, whatever it is, we're going to be working because that's what our lives are about, is working for the Black nation, working in order to build the Black nation so it can not only stand up to the Cracker Nation, but so it can defeat the Cracker Nation. So Chief Fode, over to you, anything that you want to share? Well, um, I want to I wanna appreciate you again, brother, and, um, and, and the family as well, everybody who came on. Um, for the mere fact that this is honestly a demonstration of um, unity that is very, very rare, very, very genuine. Um, I appreciate the embrace. And um, we got so much more to do together, brother. We got so much, so much, so much more to do. My mind has been going so crazy just um, having this conversation today. And um, 
for me, it's not just, you know, another talk. And hopefully, moving forward, we'll definitely be able to um, collaborate more. The first thing is, I know that our, um, our Secretary General, who controls most of our media uh, spaces as well, he, he's a member of Abib Tumi already. So I'm going to get him on the task of shifting what can be shifted ASAP over so we can learn how to utilize the space. Um, it's a little different, but once we learn it, just like a language, we can use it. So that's how I see it. Um, but definitely, this brother is very sharp. He's our IT man, so we want to spend more time figuring out how to, how to utilize. But... um. So other than that, I, I man, I just want to say... We can build pyramids, um, and we know we can do that, and we can definitely click some buttons. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. It, I don't think there's anything we can't do. You know, it's just about having that courage again. You know, having that having that capacity again. So um, definitely salute the efforts of Abibi Tumi, the whole family, man. I'm, I'm definitely interested in learning more about repatriate the Ghana, man, because even though I'm here in Sierra Leone, my inbox be buzzing, my email be buzzing with interest in Ghana, and um, I want to be able to, 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 to direct people in the right in the right direction. I have, I have several people that I deal with there in terms of we've been long-term contacts and friends, but um, it's non-partial. It's all about getting our people what they need the proper way and, and safely getting it. Um, I can appreciate also the philosophical space that is created and, um, like you said, the ecosystem. I can appreciate it. It is it, very much needed. And um, for me, man, I've been here, like, like you know, eight years, but I'm in a place where I'm isolated here in terms of numbers and having that day-to-day -day energy to bounce off of in terms of diaspora energy. Um, having that reinforcement of someone on the same mission um, in abundance, you have that a little bit more in Ghana, and it's it's um it's motivating. It's motivating for those of us on the outskirts, so to speak, right now. And um, we just gotta link up. I gotta find a way to get to Ghana, and um, hopefully you can find a way to get to Sierra Leone, and um and we can continue to build these bridges. That's pretty much what I want to say, man. And um. We have a lot to do. I think that curric curriculum building at the high level is very, very important. Um, these educational ministries, I think they're open to our support if we're able to really um, hit them full force. I found more blacktricity than I expected to find on the continent. And people just express it different and understand white supremacy different. But um, there are those who know and we need to really empower and build these liberated territories, these zones where we can be who we need to be, um, you know, without code switching or watering things down. Only, the redemption can only happen here, so um, I appreciate it. And and um, count me on, man, count me on deck. Me and my comrades, me and my members, we already have been um, looking for the safest and best ways to move forward. As you know, this is a real struggle for those who's really doing it. Some people aren't necessarily involved in every level of the struggle. Some people have it, you know, a little different. But those who actually wake up every day and struggle every day, and like, I don't work for no cracker. I ain't worked for cracker over a decade. And if I ever worked for a cracker, it was temporary. But that's always been my mentality. I focus more on entrepreneurship and service. And and um that's the background I come from. So just the activism is 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 a natural thing as well. Um expanding that, you know, making it safer for people to come, giving people more reasons to come, man. You know what I'm saying? So I really, I really, I really salute the efforts of um you, Dr. Kabon, your whole family, man, for the generations of leadership. And, uh, and 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 Garveyism, man, race first. You know what I'm saying? Like, put us first. It ain't no bending on that shit. So I absolutely appreciate it. I, hey, I'm your warrior, man. I'm here. Let's see how we can expand and build these. Build these. There's 17 languages in Sierra Leone. We need to get them on Abibitumi. 
We, I'm sure we can track down some teachers and, um, and and really just put in the same kind of work in different places and see what we come up with. To that, I'm committed to. To our liberation, I'm committed to. And um, it's very rare that I'm able to even have this opportunity to be with a serious group of peers and comrades. But I think we're around the same age. I'm born in 79. You might be a little older than me, man. You might be my old head. But um, I know I know that there's something going on here that's more spiritual than what we can even understand. And um, to that, I'm committed, brother. So thank you very much again on behalf of the Gullah Leon Union, Bersani, and every organization that I represent. Thank you very much for allowing us the privilege. That's it. It's been black to having you on. There are lots of good initiatives here on the ground, both in terms of at a governmental level and then at a grassroots level. So where we are right now, when I said we just moved, we literally just moved into a compound with people who we're building community with. So we know all of our neighbors. And this is really part of the work that's being done in terms of the Ghana community, where we'll be farming together, right? Where we meet already, we read together, we study together, we cook together, we eat together. So these are the things that you really don't have, you know, in Crackerville. You, we're usually able to come to each other until it's time to, you know, go to the lecture. And then the group in the community also go to the lecture. Then everybody goes their own separate ways, but people don't really know each other. People don't really trust each other. People don't really like each other. People don't really care about each other. But this is some of the grassroots that's going on right here on the ground. And it's not just a diaspora thing either. We got, you know, folks from the Upper West, folks from the Upper East, folks from right here in this you know. So this is really the grassroots work in terms of building community, which is, you know, some sometimes that's some of the most difficult work, but that's the work that people try to run away from. And this is the work of liking Black people, knowing Black people, trusting Black people, so that y'all can have consensus, so that you all can have collective decisions, so that you all can have collective ownership. So I know that That's right. I'm doing that cloth for you know people in the community. I'm bringing, of course, you know, for my sister, she's in our crowd, but folks who are right here in the future as well. So that's you know some of the work that's going on the level. On the governmental level, uh, I was one of those who helped to you know have some input for the uh, migration studies policy, that migration policy, that the African Unionists and that they're going to use the policy as the blueprint. So, you know, these are some of the things uh, just on Tuesday, I have a meeting with the director of the um, Diaspora Affairs Officer, the president, uh, just in terms of making some major moves here in Ghana. Nataki, my sister, she's always meeting with ministers, so forth and so on. So this is the work that's on the ground. And our family, this is what flows through our veins. We don't have anything but black liberation in our veins. That's the entire right. reason that we are here on the planet is for black liberation. So ain't no thing of, oh, we're trying to just be online. Like I quit all of the track of media. So I know there are people who are just trying to get a following and get likes and subscribers. I quit all of the crack of media. I'm not interested in none of that. I'm interested in, I'm interested in building black institutions because I see black institutions and the people of crack institutions, right? So when we talk about institutions and investment, again, just to close things out or, you know, let's say pause things for now, when we talk about repatriation, if you don't get anything out of this discussion beyond this, I want people to think about repatriation in every single area of your life. Physical repatriation, digital repatriation, spiritual repatriation, linguistic repatriation, economic repatriation, anything that you can think of, every single aspect of human, the fear of human existence. I want you to think about repatriating and not just think about it, thoughts, words, and deeds bringing the actions in alignment with that. So that's repatriation. When you think of investment, I want you to not only think about money, I want you to think about investing in every single area, investing your time to the black nation, investing your energy to the black nation, investing your resources to build the black nation, investing your money and your materials to build the black nation, and investing your very spirit in building the black nation. We got a lot of blood in our hands because we've been building up the cracker nation forever. Literally, the money that they use that we give them is the money that they use to bomb our brothers and sisters. 
It's the men they use to subvert governments here on the continent. So if we see a genocide, we gotta we gotta pull away from supporting this criminal organization called the United Snakes of the Murderer. So on, it's only when we divest from the United Snakes and start investing in Africa that we can now make Africa great again. So we patriot in every area and then also invest in every area. Let's do that collectively. And that's how we're going to actually make some progress as a people to our ultimate goal of black liberation. So Chief Fode, once again, I want to thank you for being on here. Any last words? And I think we're going to close out with a libation as we always do. Ancestors who invited in we're going to send them off on the way in the same way. I have, not, I have nothing more, brother. Thank you very much. I'm humble. Let's give it to the ancestors. So I'm going to get the water. And if anybody else has anything, you know, you can also type that in the chat as I'm doing this. But we're going to uh, come to a pause. And then we're going to, you know, fast forward. And then we're going to continue up from there. So I'm going to get the water. And we'll close up. Excuse me, I want to know if I can get a copy of the um, of this presentation. You know to me, a recording. Of it? Yes, we're gonna make the recording available. We're gonna make the recording available. So for those who are here, those who are SVP, we will make it available. Because I know several people were. Uh, not able to get here at the start time and then the little tech challenges so we'll definitely make the recording available will it, will it be emailed out to us or will it be like on a certain website most likely email most likely email i'll give it a duck or joe who also assists on that end and we'll most likely do it by email and then possibly on a bbctv.com as well okay thank you thank you I'm good. Amen. Abu. Amen. Abu. Amen. 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 I please mention the names of the ancestors who you called at the outset. Nana Francis Chris Welsing. As you. Dirty Bookman. Yes. Steve Nico. Yes. Nana Patrice Lumumba. Yes. Dada Kwame Nkrumah. Yes. Mwini na mumra. Mumra mjumu. Na ene diyan, ene se. Nayer <laughs> Tutu laro ye, iba no du mara ete re reka ye, iba iba rume leo jupa tson, iba iba rume leo jupa tson, iba rume la bala kutu, iba ifa akere fenu shabwa, iba akoda, iba akeda, iba raba lo tu, iba sango, iba yinra e wadju, awa le roe, bi e kolo ba juba, ili ala no, omo si ki juba, ki ba kwa, ki e koma si me, ki e koma si e bi mi, ki e koma si e ya wo mi, ki e koma si e ya wo nyon, lori a bibi tu mi, ki e koma si e ti fode, to wa si bi, let me put this in quantan so, ki e o no le sora, 
kale bon kan kale ko bo bo ki apolomo lati alo lo ki alo laye ko ni si oto koko to ne pa o se ni gbogbo emi se aye wa ase 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 o ki ba ko se ase o ase ase so again we definitely going to have to do a part 2 part 3 But you know, at the end of the day, it's not only about the talk; it's about the actual action, and that's what I like about you. You want to keep all day. I can tell you're a man of action. You're not someone sitting in Crackerville talk, telling people to repatriate. You repatriated, and now you're opening up a way. <laughs> so you know they have the underground railroad. Right. I call this one the undercloud railroad. So the planes are coming in on the underground yeah. railroad, and we are, you know, some of those safe houses that people can come to. Some of the sp- safe spaces that oh, we're yeah. creating. So, definitely appreciate the work that you're doing on the ground. Know that you have a brother here also doing the work on the ground. So, I thank you for the work you're doing. And I thank all of those who showed up and stayed with us through this. I hope it's been uh, beneficial for you. Black liberation. Abibu to me. Abibu fahodiye. Abibu to me. Abibu fahodiye. Abibu fahodiye. You. Do you wish you?